Hi everybody! We're going to read another story about Abraham and Isaac. In this story, Isaac is all grown up. Are you ready to find out what happens? Great! Okay, if you're just joining us, we have been reading from the Read With Me Bible. It's, I love the pictures. It helps bring things to life and helps me to understand what's going on just a little bit more. I like pictures. They help explain things better. This is called A Wife for Isaac, and it's in the book of Genesis, the very first book of the Bible, chapter 24. Abraham said to his servant, Go to my country and to my relatives. Get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant took ten of his master's camels and left. He made his way to the town of Nahor. He stopped near the well outside the town. He made the camels get down on their knees. It was almost evening. It was time when the women go out to get water. The servant prayed, Lord, give me success today. I will speak to a young woman. I'll say, please lower your jar so I can have a drink. Suppose she says, have a drink of water. I'll get some for your camels too. Then let her be the one you have chosen for Isaac. Before he finished praying, Rebecca came out. She had a jar on her shoulder. She was very beautiful. The servant hurried to meet her. He said, please give me a little water from your jar. After she had given him a drink, she said, I'll get water for your camels too. The camels finished drinking. Then the man took out a gold nose ring. He also took out two gold bracelets. He gave them to Rebecca. Rebecca had a brother named, named Laban. He hurried out to meet the man. Laban said, the Lord has done this. He asked Rebecca, will you go with this man? Yes, she said. So the servant took Rebecca. She became Isaac's wife and he loved her. Oh, that's so exciting. I love weddings. I love to hear um, how people meet and love each other. Would you talk to your parents? Ask them, how did they meet? How did they fall in love? That'd be a really fun conversation to have. All right, let's pray. God, I thank you for families. I thank you for um, giving us people who love us to raise us and to teach us about you. Help us to love you and serve you in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you have a good night and sweet dreams. Don't forget to give your mom and dad a hug. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.